Let's say you're a human being who wants to connect their stack mat timer to CS timer. In this video, I'm going to really show you, really quickly show you how to troubleshoot everything to make sure that the input that you need from a stack mat is getting all the way through to CS timer. And what we're going to start off by doing is just briefly understanding how the stack mat timer gets information through to CS timer. And the way it does that is with audio. It makes some funny sounds that we'll listen to in a bit sends those to your computer. Your computer should then route that to CS timer and then CS timer does its computer things and interprets those and then understands whether your timer started or stopped. So the crucial thing here is we need to make sure that your stack mat is making noises, right? Step one, we need to plug it into the mic port. So let's ask the obvious questions. Do you have your 2.5 to 3.5 adapter or maybe you can just plug 3.5 straight in? Either way, you need an aux cable connected somehow to the stack mat and that aux cable needs to run all the way through to, you can see I've got it plugged in here, all the way through to your microphone port, right? If this is plugged into your headphone port, it's gonna be useless. So the stack mat has to be plugged into your microphone port. Step one. Step two, once it's plugged into your microphone port, we want to make sure that, I'm assuming we're on Windows 10, sorry if you're not, but you can kind of uh, follow similar logic. If you're on Windows 10, we wanna make sure that your computer's receiving the sound, right? How do we do that? We go to the sounds menu. If you go to the bottom here, right click on the headphones icon or the, the volume icon, select sounds. That's gonna bring up the sounds menu. Other ways you can get to this menu, you can search sounds in Windows. You can just hit the Windows key and type sounds. It'll come up, click on change system sounds, or you can go to the control panel and click on sounds from there, whatever works best for you. Now, once we're in the sounds menu, we wanna go to the recording tab and what you'll see is all of your recording devices here, right? So for example, you can see as I'm talking, the volume in my microphone is going up and down, right? So these green bars on the right are your volume bars, okay? And what we want to make sure is that whatever audio device here that represents your stack mat, whatever that device is, we wanna make sure that it's showing sound, right? So if we come down here, uh, what we're expecting to see is a device that has a very high level of output consistently, right? So this is what your stack match should look like. It's always making noise that your computer is receiving. How we, confer how we can confirm this is double click on here. And now we're actually going to listen to the sounds that your stack match makes. You can see we're in front port properties here. That's just the device name here. We go click on listen, listen to this device. We check that box and hit apply. And the dubstep hits us, right? These are the sounds that your stack mat is actually making. If you can hear this, then you know you're on the right track, right? You know that your stack mat is making sounds that are being sent by your sent to your computer. You know that your computer is receiving those sounds, so you're golden for step one. Step two, now that we know sound is getting to your computer, we need to make sure that it's getting to CS timer. So what do we do? Jump in here. Let me make sure that my timer is off. Let me refresh CS timer has my privileges. So I'm just going to restart CS timer so that you can see the process from the beginning. So CS timer, if you want to now enable your stack mat, you go options, timer, entering in times with, we click where it says timer and then choose stack mat instead. And here you can see the computer is now asking us which audio device do you want to use? If you're not sure, if you're like me and you've got like 70 over here, what you can do is go back to the sound menu and check on the exact name of your audio device. So here it's front port high definition audio device. So inside this menu, that Firefox is popping up for me. I'm going to say front port high definition, high definition audio device. I want to click on that one, click on allow, and I can click OK. And if all has gone well, I should be able to start it with my stack mat. And just for proof, I'm going to stop it with my stack mat. There we go. That should be everything that's required. Should hopefully be a pretty simple two-step process. One, make sure that the sound is getting from your stack mat to the computer. Two, make sure that you've got the right audio device selected in CS timer. Hopefully that helps. Peace and love. Happy cubing.